Live from Shadowmere Studios, it's Talkie Box, built to last. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. How long? It's definitely built to last. At least through uh, October 16th. At least. Of this year. Yeah. All right. Ideally. I mean, it was built that way, um, but it hasn't really gone through all of the proper vetting yet. Okay. So right. that's that's the goal. We're aiming for October 16th. Yeah. If it breaks before then, then, you know, it's back to the old is, drawing board. Is there a Ho- warranty? Hopefully there's no recalls involved. Yeah, I really hope so. Are there's we selling? definitely no manufacturer's warranty. No, we're not We're not issuing a warranty with it. No, because this is Absolutely the beta not. version. Yeah. Okay. Beta version. So try at your own risk. Yeah. Absolutely. Sort of thing. This is the beta max. Yeah. Okay. I've but. Never, I never owned one of those. I, and I'm not either. really sure the technology involved in it. <laughs> but it, ha- it was built to last. Is that like real to real? No. It's not? I no. mean... I guess in as much as VHS is reel to reel, which it is, and and cassette tapes in general. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. All right. I actually had to learn. Like, <laughs> glad we cleared in, that up. When I was going to school for broadcasting, I had to learn how to use reel to reel. It's a pain in the ass. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you don't say. Uh huh. You learned say. that in broadcasting <laughs> school. Yeah. Did you did you have to do the the slicing and the splicing? Yep, and, and the dicing. And like, I don't think you have to do any. No, dicing. Need dicing. No. Slicing and splicing. Yeah, that happened. No dicing. Cut and splice. Sounds boring. It's like it's literally like cutting and and taping back together the tape before things were zeros and ones. Yeah. floating in like an ethereal alternate mm. universe of numbers like we have today, mm. where no one really understands it. Back then, it was like hard copy. We uh-huh. just had a like a whole bunch of tiny little pictures, right? It was like, all in a row. Well, I'm talking about like audio tape, but yeah, I I, I didn't have to deal with like real real video or now, anything. Audio but. tape that was magnets, right? Yeah, it's like, magnetic tape. It was like a magnetic strip or something mm-hmm. that like also Which is, gave, is the like, same way with with uh, VHS and cassette tapes and stuff. Yeah, I love magnets, and that's why cool. a, a strong <laughs> magnet back in the '80s could really mess up somebody's collection. Oh yeah. Uh, I remember our professor actually told told a story about like when he worked for um, some television station. Um, someone had, had a master copy of a of a tape and put it like up on their dashboard, right next to one of their speakers, mm. which oh. have powerful magnets in them, and it just er- completely erased the tape. Oh. So that really fucked up whatever they were dealing with. Yeah. So. Well, we still got the master copy, right? Nope. No, no it's gone. Oh, no, no, we wiped that shit. I was hoping to make a new one, but yeah. I see that. It's not going to happen. Yeah. So I'm Dave. Hey, Dave. Host of Talkie Box. Mm-hmm. So they is say. It's yeah. a title I gave myself. <laughs> yeah. And then we got Jason. Hey. Asshole of Talkie Box is the title I yep. gave him. Number one, super asshole. Yep. Justin, the guy who faces forward the whole time. Hi. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He has no good side. No. So we just put him face forward. <laughs> yep. You decide. Mm-hmm. Which side is his best side? You decide. It's his backside. Oh. He's not uh, lying. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you weren't saw, here last week. I wasn't here last week. I I'm still not well, uh-huh. but I've never been the entire time you've known me. Uh-huh. I've been a little sick. So that's true in multiple ways. In so many ways, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I haven't sp- uh, specifically gotten over any of that stuff, but the sinus infection. And the uh, the rumbly tumblies. Oh, the rumbly tumblies. I believe we had dis- or what you guys discussed. I right. watched the episode this morning, yeah. <laughs> so I feel like I was part of the show, yeah. even though there was definitely a different dude right here. Right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And that- but he was delightful. He seemed like a nice guy. Tech's a great dude, man. I kind of would have liked to have been and- on the show with him, just to chat oh, him up a little more. If, if you had not been sick. Yep. Had I- Yeah, right? Yeah. If only. If only. Yeah, well, uh, what are you going to do? Stay healthy. Yep. The show must go on. They say I recruited him that day. Like, you, if if you had been here, you would have actually met him because, like, I, I recruited him that day. I was like, hey, I was hanging out with him. He's, like, we talked about like getting haircuts and stuff. I was like, hey, man, I'm on this podcast. We need somebody else on it. You want to do it? He's like, I don't know what that is, <laughs> but I'm willing. <laughs> and yeah. then he came over and, and you know it was a good time. Yeah, I mean, it was a good time. Uh, yeah, I had a, a really bad sinus infection. Uh, I got it. Uh, Partially because of heat exhaustion from mm-hmm. the event, uh, basically just my defenses got dropped so bad that like this kind of crept up on me and just overwhelmed me. Yeah, and the drainage was so awful 
uh, that it actually gave me the sinus drainage. Yeah, the sinus drainage. Not like not like a ditch outside your house or anything. No, no, not like uh, the hurricane that we'll talk about later. <laughs> okay, but like the drainage from my sinuses was so awful mm. that after like several days of swallowing it, you know, because you can't Gross, blow yeah. it all out. Like no, you, you try can't. to, you but can't. You just can't. Yeah, and like. You know, losing my appetite, not drinking enough water, and basically mm. just ingesting a snot diet for about mm. five or six days. I'm so turned off by this conversation. It, it, yeah, it's, 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 it's really my stomach rancid. I actually thought my appendix had ruptured. Like I really? got Ugh. such severe abdominal pain, and it was basically from all my filter organs saying, "Like, like quit it, <laughs> WTF? Yeah, this is not." something we're supposed to be working through right here it's all white blood cells and i don't even know what this is you gotta get that out of here yeah. so that's why i was unable to make it or at least that's what the doctor's note uh, excuse that i handed dave said yeah i mean did yeah you, did it have him released for work probably not i don't think so yeah yeah i mean you can dock my pay i expected yeah. it oh i will be yeah i think you owe us money now I do. <laughs> I do. Yep. Because I didn't... I don't I know why I looked at my non-existent watch when I said, I you owe us money. Yeah. I didn't I, pay I, for this. I'm pretty sure this is coming out of some sort of a... Some uh, sort of like a... Yeah, and, and, and <laughs> something. You looked at your watch like your watch tells you how much money people owe right. you. Right. Yeah. Not uh, like, like time or anything. Jason like. owes $8,000. Oh, yeah. He does owe me money. Thanks, hair tie. Yeah. This is, this is not a watch. It's just a debtor's device I keep on my <laughs> wrist. <laughs> yes. That's a loan shark. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Loan, loan shark. So, game uh, shark. So hurricanes. <laughs> yeah, game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hurricanes. Game, game sharks. They're game, all over that hurricane. They are. Man. Hurricane Harvey. Hurricane Harvey, Harvey yeah. hits Houston. Old Two Face. Oh. Okay. I was about to comment on his alliteration, but you went with a Batman reference. I did. I said <laughs> Two Face. Yeah, you did. Because yeah. his, his, his name's Harvey. Yeah, no. but there's some real devastation going on down there. Uh, I, think I don't know anybody in that area, so I don't know what's what's going down. I th- I know they're devastated. De- yeah, Apparently it's, it's devastated. devastated. It's like sixty inches of uh, flooding. That's a lot. There's like another fifteen inches of rain supposed to be coming. All of their interstates are impassable, mm. and so you know if the interstates are, then you can assume a lot of side streets are probably like, uh, yeah. get the boat. <laughs> I think there's been a, a few deaths. Yeah, several injuries. Last count uh, I heard was like 15 or 16 deaths, I believe. But there's probably also a number of unaccounted for. I do know it's still going on. Like, it, it's still... I think it's a still tropical storm right now, yeah. 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 It, it, as soon as it hit landfall, it slowed a lot, but it also was caught between two pressure fronts, and so it wouldn't move out of the area, which is why they're getting so much rainfall, is because it has basically hit the area dumped on them, went back out to sea, and now they're worried that it might be like picking up strength from the warm Gulf uh, weather. I just, I just pictured you as a meteorologist. Right. Say, yeah, it's between these two pressure fronts, and it's just dumping on them. And it's going out, but it here, might come back. You'll see over here in the Houston area, they are fucked. I'm sorry, <laughs> Houston. Uh, if you're still in Houston, blah, 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 blah. you get it. I that's bet they don't. Insane. That's dark. I'm sorry. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's bad. There are people suffering right now. I shouldn't make yeah. light of that. But anyway, if you're in Houston and you watch this, thank you. Uh, and get a boat. Because you're fucked. It's fucked over there. I, uh, I watched a news special where a guy, just a average guy with a bass boat, mm-hmm. had taken it down and was out saving people. Oh, cool. Like, was just out. Like riding through neighborhoods, yeah. looking for people on roofs and stuff. Man. He'd saved about twenty people, and this is not like a cop or anything. Just I actually saw a video the other day of somebody. It wasn't during this. It was somewhere in I want to say Mississippi, where uh, these guys are going out in their boats during a flood situation. <laughs> Go on, <laughs> and uh, they were saving the wildlife that was being stranded on like. And tree branches and stuff like possums and raccoons and stuff, and it's like and just putting them in their boats and the, and like all the animals were like totally cool with it. Like thank you. Yep, chill. Like, they didn't say it with words, but they said it with their cute faces. Yep, they they said it by not ravenously attacking yeah. those guys. <laughs> they they just, like hung on the boat. They're like this is so much better. Kind of reminds me of Life of Pi. 
except it was real bad in Life of Pi. Yeah. I didn't see it. You didn't see Life no, of Pi? I didn't see Life of Pi. Well, you should. I actually no. watched that one. It's it like, what a, kind of world are we living in? What kind of world are we living in? Justin and I were making jokes earlier about all the movies that people just assume that everybody has seen. Right. Yeah. And yeah. that was our tagline for it. What kind of world are we living in? <laughs> where you haven't seen this movie. What do you that, mean? You haven't seen Fight Club? What kind of world are we living in? Right. What do you mean you haven't seen The Usual Suspects? What kind of world are we living yeah. in? You haven't seen, seen the first Matrix movie. Seen that. What kind of world are we living in? But I haven't seen like, I didn't sit down and watch the Godfather movies. You haven't seen The Godfather? Nope. What, what kind, kind of world, world are we living, living in? in? Oh, this is going to get real crazy. old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already tired of yeah. it. I mean, shit. But I mean, we could definitely go through a list of mov- of movies that I should have seen mm-hmm. that I definitely haven't seen. The yep. Godfather ones being being them. Mm-hmm. Although I've heard Godfather 3 was shit. But I don't know. No, it was a movie. Oh. Yeah. Was it a shit movie? Yes. Mm. It was still probably better than a lot of other, like, shit movies. <laughs> Two girls, one cup. You know, I'm sorry. I didn't see that one. Human centipede. What kind didn't, of world are we living in where a movie like that gets fucking made? Uh, and then they make like sequels. And mm-hmm. sequels. <laughs> yeah. Sequels. They love it. See, some of those movies, I just, I don't understand the appeal. Like, what's another one that they've, uh, Sharknado. Now, uh, they just no, 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 make no. over. Don't you be talking shit about Sharknado. I, listen, I've never seen it. I have no desire to see it. Sh- I've I'm seen, just saying. I've seen three of the, of the at least four Sharknado movies made. <laughs> They are, they're so they are purposely bad, and hilarious. <laughs> in how ridiculous the concept it's, is, it's satirical camp. It really is. Is right. Yeah, yeah. and they get and they get some big names. Like David Hasselhoff was in like the third or fourth. <laughs> was <one>. I'm <laughs> not. I'm not. They get, get big, big names, names guys. <laughs> David Hasselhoff. Hasselhoff. Ladies and gentlemen, don't hassle the Hoff. Yeah. He is in the uh, building, hey. and he is sober. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, like. They're they're hilariously bad on purpose, and it's kind of amazing. But it's not like I mean, Human Centipede like they did that on purpose. They they were like, we're gonna make this movie that's going to gross the shit out of everybody. Yeah, shock. And then value. we're gonna make more of them. Yes, pure and then, shock. Value. And then people were like, yeah, I'll go watch that. I'll pay right. money to see that. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm like, gonna watch. No it. one's no one's paying to see Sharknado. Not not one. That's why they put it out for free on Sci Fi Channel. And then now it's, and it's on Netflix, and you just watch it for free. Someone owns mm. Sharknado. <laughs> Someone owns like the volumes of Shark. Someone has the boxed set. But I bet you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. The box set costs about eight bucks. So how about they we make a movie will. about a tornado that carries a whole bunch of sharks to land, and the sharks eat people falling through the sky. Yeah, it's raining. Sharks. Oh, I see it's what you're doing. Sharks. You're creating a hypothetical scenario where someone is developing this product we have been talking about. No, I was just coming up with a fresh idea. <laughs> oh, a fresh own. new. What about catfish? <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like a tropical depression. Right? All right. How about it's cat dog? <laughs> we'll make a cartoon called Cat Dog. One side's a dog, the other side's a cat. I don't like cat. what you're doing. Will you? How do they poop? Yeah. How do they poop? Well,. We'll leave that answer to the, the, the scholars. <laughs> All right. All right. Good <laughs> stuff. Good stuff. Thanks for carrying it. Yeah. Sharknado, though. If you haven't checked it out, you should probably <laughs> check it out. What kind of world are we living in? You what haven't watched Sharknado. I have never seen Sharknado. I haven't seen it either. You should both I check it out. likely never will. All of them are on Netflix. Like, if you, like, literally, if you have an hour Ooh. and a half to kill and you're like, I'll watch something stupid. Sharknado. There's so many not stupid things though that like I have yet to see that you could kill an hour and a half that with. I could kill an hour and a half with that I feel like why am I gonna go into this world <laughs> and subject myself to when storms you, with deadly fish? Tara Reid loses an arm. <gasps> Spoilers, Dave. I don't care which arm. So it'd be like me telling you right who Kaiser Soze is. Oh man. Kaiser Sose. Yes. No spoilers. Mm-mm. That's from Usual Suspects, yes, which I have seen. Great movie. It is a good movie. It's a great movie. Yeah. It's a good movie. <laughs> is it good or great? I said it was great, didn't I? Then you said it was good. Yeah, well. Can it be both? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It can be. Uh, great is a value of good. What's, what's another movie? I haven't seen Titanic. I think I mentioned that before. You yeah, haven't seen yeah. Titanic? Nope. You what know kind how of it world ends, are we living though, in? right? Yep. 
Yeah. Pretty sure that boat goes down. Yep. Spoilers. <laughs> oh. 20 years later, after the movie, way longer after the actual event. Yeah, didn't see it. No. You, you've seen the Fight Club, though, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, Fight Club's I, good. That's that's one of those that I feel like everyone needs to see. I've seen it, and I read the book. Really? Yeah. I haven't read many um, movie book adaptations, like the the books from the movies or the movies to the books. There's right. only been a few that I've read and seen a movie to. Did you read the Harry Potters? I did read the Harry Potters. Yeah. Those are amongst them. Lord of the Rings read those. I could not read Lord of the Rings. No? No, it was boring as fuck. Oh, no, I, I, read, like, I read them. The prologue. I, I literally did not get through the prologue of Lord of the Rings. Oh, that's a shame. Not I, really. I read them when I was young, and my biggest issue was keeping all the characters separate in my head. There's a lot of them, and a lot of them have this like similar names. Yeah. Like yeah, even even so much like Sauron and Saruman. That's pretty damn close. It's like yeah. I mean, and, it's and they're both easy bad. To and you know, spoilers again, Dave. Yeah, those movies came out a long time ago too. The books came out even longer ago. Yep. Even longer. Is that what is that a sentence? Even longer ago. Yeah. Sure. I mean, it conveys a message. Yep. You know what I'm saying. I get what you know. You feel me. I feel you on that. But, like, another one that I've always wanted to read, and mm-hmm. I also need to apparently catch up with the show, is Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. Game of Thrones is... I mean, it, are, we're about to move into the last season, aren't we? Did, wasn't there just so, a yeah. season finale not too long ago? Yeah. yeah. But we're not about to move into the last season. There's We've about still a year. got a, a year and a half, maybe? I don't know. Wow. But yeah, the the books are really good. the The fourth one isn't, but yeah. Why isn't it the fourth? It's one? so boring. Really? They take like so. The fourth and fifth books were supposed to be one book, but there was just so much content that he split it into two books, and he put all the shit characters in one of them. Uh, so it's like it's following like Sansa's bullshit for a long time, and <laughs> um. Trying to remember who else is in the fourth one. I like I blocked it from my mind because it, it took me so long to read that book because I just hated it. That's the and worst. I was like I don't care about any of it, but like maybe it'll get. It's not getting better. See now, there's, there's and then you one... get to the fifth book where it's like Daenerys and John and Arya and like Jamie, and like the cool people. And you're like, yes, this is what I was looking there for: dragons and and White Walkers and shit. Now I, I read. Uh, have you ever read the Dark Tower series by Stephen King? You read that? No, I've heard good things about it though. It's incredible book series. Mm-hmm. Like so much so that I refuse to see the movie because there's just too much mm-hmm. for it to be any anywhere close to as good as the, the books were. I've heard. I've heard both opinions about the the movie from people who who love the books. Uh, uh, one one said that it was it was it. W- they both claim, you know, it's not it's not the books. Like, it's not going to be exactly like the books. But one claims that it was very good, and it referenced a lot of other Stephen King material. And Which is one, necessary. Yeah, and, and then, and then uh, the other one said it was just a shit adaptation. But. I mean, I, I'm, I'm fine. I like the idea of Idris Elba as Roland. I mm-hmm. uh, wasn't sure about Matthew McConaughey as the man in black, but... Um, I mean, I didn't have any issues with the casting. I just knew that... When you take a seven series long book, I mean a seven book long series, and try and put it into a two two and a half hour movie, was well, that what they did? Is it supposed to be the entire story in one book? Or in I don't movie? know. I don't know. I I don't know what it's supposed to be. Hmm. But there was one book in the Dark Tower series that kind of veered you off of the course. You're like following these characters for mm-hmm. one book, and then another book, and then a third book, and then it's like, here, let me tell all of you a story. And then it's a completely different book for the entire book, and you don't go back to those characters. I mean, that's until Stephen the very King, end. Like yeah. that's that's a big thing with Stephen King. There's a story in with, a story. Yeah, where he did that in what uh, Stand by Me, and um, shit. I want to say seen that one. I want to say he did in It and Dreamcatcher, like a bunch of stuff where you're like, "What? Well, this is totally different now. Why are we bothering with this shit?" <laughs> I think he did in the stand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's still a great series. It's it just it definitely pumps you for there for a second where you have right. to stop and make it through another story where you don't really relate to the characters, mm-hmm. and then you start relating to the characters, and then the book ends, and you're like, oh well, that's that. <laughs> nice little tangent. Yeah, but I, I don't read enough anymore. I don't read enough. I read in the bathroom a lot. Well, that's good. Yeah, it's good. I mean, I could read on my phone. Mm-hmm. I'm reading The Walking Dead. On your phone? Graphic novels, yeah, on my phone. Cool. 
but not like book books. Yeah. You know, book books. I've been trying to read more books. I have a lot of book books that I, that I need to get through. Like, a ton of book books. Like, I think I have like 50 or something upstairs that are unread. No. Oh, and then... Dave. Uh, I'm, I'm working through them, though. Your like, I, I finished all the, the Dresden Files books that are out, which was like 15 books plus a, a collection of short stories. I did that in just under a year. And now I'm reading another series. And there's just so much more to read. I pretty much only read news articles and, like, different research stuff mm. online, uh, looking up different facts or whatever. Usually arguing with someone online about something I don't know a lot about, right. so I'm like, "Oh, let me let me go look this up real quick." <laughs> yeah, I don't make enough time for research, which is why I never say anything on Facebook. I stay pretty quiet on Facebook. I yeah. mean, I'll fight just for the sake of fighting. Yeah, it's true. I've seen him do it. It's true. Yeah. All right, I'll fight. And then, like, see that the fight is, like, one-sided and then flip sides. <laughs> and, like, fight for the other side. Like, well, no, what the bullshit. Yeah, like, wait a second. <laughs> this I was arguing with this guy. If you're going to start arguing with this guy, I'm going to be on his side now. Yeah. I see your, your perspective now. Turns out Orange is the new black. Mm -hmm. That's a uh, pretty strong claim there, Dave. It was a hypothetical. Oh, or, okay. Orange is still orange. Orange is still orange. Yeah. It's not the new black. Mm -mm. Unless, it, unless Jason wants to argue about it on Facebook. Can it be both? There he is. I don't know. Can it? Can't it be both, though? It, it can't be both. You're right. Can't it, though? Yeah, that's what <laughs> I just said. <laughs> All, right. All right. I think we might agree. I don't know, but I'm not going to waste any more of our audience's time on this. Oh, you won't? Did you not get enough sleep? <sighs> no. <laughs> well, why not? Because I'm working two jobs at the moment. Oh. I don't have a day off until this time next week. Oh. My heart goes out to you. That does sound awful. Yeah. Are they paying you? Yeah, they're paying me. Are they paying I'm you? I'm getting paid. Good. Getting yeah. paid. That's good. <laughs> money is uh, money is important. Money is something that pays my bills. Mm. Yeah. Does it? Uh-huh. How many bills do you have? Several. Several. So I was out cutting my grass. This has nothing to do with uh, whatever stupid thing y'all were talking about right. just now. Yeah, good. Go on. I uh, I was out cutting my grass <laughs> because because uh, it was tall. It, it was tall. To be cut. It need it didn't need to be cut. Did it, it want to be cut? It was sort of in an area is that's it, is it emo? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> it's sort of in an area that's just green space designated, and so it's gone a little wild. Mm -hmm. But uh, a bunch of trash got kind of like left out and forgotten out there so i basically cut a huge swath to get to it so okay. that i could uh throw it all away recycle throw it all away you know whatever uh basically just get rid of it it's an eyesore <laughs> like who's it recycle throw it all away <laughs> you guys get it uh so anyway i uh i was out there cutting my grass and wouldn't you know it the next thing happens to me, boom, yellow jackets are covering Ooh. my body. Yeah. They got me on the knuckles. Dang. They got me on the ankles. Yeah. Uh, I was wearing shorty shorts Ooh, and, yeah. and a short sleeve shirt. So Oop. they got, got they, your booty all out. Yeah. But they didn't <laughs> fortunately go up in the booty or okay. anything like that. I didn't have to worry about that. But, yeah. but they did. They were on such high alert that they, they didn't just sting me. And like, get their aggression out and fly right. away. They latched on like Suicide oh, Squad. We wow. just started uh, like going, going in, and just biting and dumping Damn. as much venom into me as they absolutely could, and not letting go. Well, you fucked up. Uh, yeah, it was an old nest. Yeah, like, like the hole in the ground was was probably about talkie box cup sized. <laughs> uh, delicious talkie box cup size. Would you like a mug the same size as the hole of a yellow jacket nest? <laughs> So they they the really line. tore me up, <laughs> and I was actually bleeding from all the all the wounds. Damn man! Uh, but then the swelling mm -hmm. that came afterwards closed up all the bleeding. closed up all the the bleeding holes. Oh, well, that so worked to your it advantage. was sort of like a problem that solved itself. Right, except you still had the pain to deal with. Uh well, it, it just became itchy and sort of hard to move. But when know. was this? 
This was yesterday. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see him. Mm. I'm telling lies, telling sweet little lies. Well, I mean, y'all weren't talking. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I'd tell the story about winter fun. <laughs> I do like our winter fun stories, yeah. more specifically yours. But anyway, yeah, so a little summer fun for you guys. Watch where you're cutting in the tall grass because mm. yellow jackets will get that ass. Yep. It's a you said they didn't get your ass, though. Uh, not specifically. I just meant, you know, your your being. Oh. When I say yourself, your ass, I mean your being. Jason just called my being an ass. Yep. Mm-hmm. Which ass? But yeah, they messed me up good. That sucks. So later on, with vengeance in my heart, because they weren't really in the way, uh, they were kind of off in their own wild space, and but I they was, had to find you. I was actually the one that came and chopped up the top of their home. Mm-hmm. And they were only defending their home, right? But I didn't care because I'm a human, yeah, right. And so I feel like I am it's Lord your domain and now. master of this domain, even though that really is just an entitlement that we give ourselves, right? So I went and got a big old jug of poison, <laughs> and I sat there and I smoked a cigarette and I waited until it cooled off, and all the little yellow jackets went down into their hole to start rebuilding. Yeah. And then I just went in there, chemical agents. Oh, it was fierce. Did you just like turn the bottle Such over like into their hole? Oh man, yeah. And and then I like stood over them like it was a street fight. And, and like berated talk, them. Yeah, <laughs> talked a bunch of shit. <laughs> yeah. Get up. You can't get up. That's right. Cause you are poisoned. Yeah. Because mm. of the nerve agent that you're choking <laughs> on right now. I wish I could have been there to be your hype man. Oh yeah. Yeah, I felt better. Shit's weak. I mean, there's still there's still a lot. <laughs> Shit's weak. <laughs> they're still probably alive. You know, it was a big nest, yeah. but I feel like I got enough to yeah. to feel they're, like they're gonna talk to each other. Yeah. and they're gonna decide, yeah. and they're, they're gonna be in your bed tonight when you get home. <sighs> You're like, mm, mm-hmm. oh yeah, I'm good and tired. It's been a long day of talkie boxing and pillow full of beans. firehouse, and I'm gonna just take my blanket out. Oh, that blanket looks weird. I'm just gonna lay on it anyway. Oh, that's yellow jackets. Mm-hmm. Yep, they end up forming factions inside about whether or not they focus on rebuilding or seeking their vengeance, and the rogue faction decides to seek its vengeance. I've always hoped to be the catalyst for mm-hmm. like a big. Political Ev- uprising? Yeah, like an evolution of of something that we just deem below us. That yeah. just all of a sudden, it's like, you know what? I've had enough. Kill them all. Yep. <laughs> Kill all humans. <laughs> if insects I feel, like, uh, I feel like Jason could be the catalyst for like North and South Dakota to like give up their differences, become just Dakota, and then come and kill it. Yeah, just unite in mm-hmm. their hatred yeah. of him. That's mm-hmm. something that, that Justin and I were, we were talking, talking about. about this, I, yeah. I I speculated to him this question, which is something that acts actually a big part of who I am, and both of you kind of know it. Um, if you had the option mm-hmm. of getting rid of all of the hate that yeah. people have for each other in this world and taking it all upon yourself. Oh. So now there is no longer hate between nations, religions, creeds, anything, but everybody hates you. Yeah. Would you sacrifice? Would you do that for the world? What happens if I die? Is uh, all they, the hate just gone? They probably keep on hating you, but you probably care a lot less. Well, I mean, like, so the, the hate would just remain for me and that's it. Yeah. And there'd never be hate for anything else again. See, now, no, I was no. saying that the mantle and should be, be passed down. Me and Jason agreed on this as well. well at least, see, that's what... That there could be a, a hate icon like the Dread Pirate Roberts. <laughs> yes. Uh, that gets passed down. Uh, it's just called yeah. Dave Montero. <laughs> oh. Like, oh, and you're the you new Dave. And you have to crown a new Dave. You're the new Dave. Fuck you, Dave. Yes. He gets it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Get so out of here, you so piece of shit. You were specifically talking about me? No. It was, oh, it was no. for me. I oh, was, okay. I was actually talking about a lot yeah. of my behavior leans towards that, where like right. if people are fighting, I'll just make a big scene and then get everybody to hate me. See, I wouldn't... I think I want to... Uh, you know, I'd like to say that I would definitely take on the hatred, but I wouldn't want to pass it on to somebody else. 
I feel that's for the betterment of the world. Yeah. yeah. Justin's only saying that you would pass it on in case the hatred came back after your death. If right. the hatred does not come back, there is absolutely no reason to pass that moniker right. on. <laughs> Unless there's somebody you hate. And, right? But then there, there's guy. a good reason why people hate you right there. <laughs> but they can just remain secretly, you know, indebted to the cause, even if nobody knows that they hate them. So you they would, just you would do monitor that situations humanity? and pass it on just in case the hate subsides. Would you, would you martyr yourself in that capacity? Would you do that for society? Would you take all the hate upon yourself? I mean... Are they going to kill me? <laughs> I mean, there's a See? chance. Or are they just going to keep hating? See, that's why I said it depended like, on the circumstance. Like, kind of, yeah. Am, am I, like, pre- protected in my castle on the hill? Or am I just a regular dude who can't I mean, even, like, get people to I perform mean, let's, simple let's be services honest, though, It doesn't me. matter if they're going to kill me. Because, like, if they're not going to kill me, it's just going to be worse. Like, they're going to spit my that's burgers. That's exactly what I said. Like, like just, I don't want to live that life of yeah, that's, that's total awful. empty loneliness where I can't go to the supermarket without someone shitting in their hand and throwing it at my face. Like, <laughs> they I don't hate you live that, that much. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm compelled to <laughs> use my one a month <laughs> just to have some ammunition. Right. And nail this fucker. You're understanding hate. Yeah, yeah, that's intense hatred. Right. What happens if they see me twice? Then, I mean, they're they willing. are willing to make that sacrifice, willing, I guess. Man. Yeah. They're willing to go on record. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> gets one, months. but <laughs> they can only hope that they see you on their birthday. So what about, what about you, Justin? Would you martyr yourself in that fashion? Would you take on the world's hate? <laughs> I, like I said, it would depend on the circumstances that I that I live in once the circumstances I take the are, hate. I'm a demon, and I'm giving you this option on Talkie Box right now. <laughs> will you take the world's hate upon your shoulders? No. All right. They Dave, will kill me. Will uh, you take I the need world's protection. hate upon your shoulders? Will you end all hate by being the hated? Like I want to say, like if if it was just I uh, hate that guy. Then yes, but if it's like I hate that guy and here's what I'm gonna do to fuck up his life, then no. Okay, well odds are it's gonna be <laughs> I hate that guy and yeah, I'm probably there are people and they're that, gonna do something about it. There are yeah. people who are willing to do stuff now for true. misplaced hate. Yeah, yep. You know, they get so. eggs thrown at you. People come in. I, mean, I like eggs. Cut your face. I don't want to get. I don't want to get my face cut. Slash your tires. Yeah. But, break your windshield. But I'd be willing to do that. Yeah, Piss I would you take the take the hate. I would, and I'd probably eventually be hashtag murdered. Hashtag take the hate, or or commit suicide. Brian, S N Brian, hashtag take the hate. Take the hate, Brian. <laughs> hashtag shake the hate. And, and the by tape. the way, Brian, would what? you take the hate? I bet you would. He's a good guy. He's a lot better than you are. Yep. He's, yeah, he's, he's, he's also got, a lot better than you are. So. He's a lot better than me. <laughs> yeah, but that's undeniable. I'm not arguing that. All right. He might be better than Justin. Justin's a Probably. decent fella. Yeah. But he's got a lot of dark secrets. So, Ooh. So dark. You should tell us one of those secrets. Tell us one of your dark secrets. One of your dark secrets. I'm, I'm honest. Like, be truthful about it. One of my dark secrets? Uh-huh. Yep. Did you kill a guy? No, don't tell him about that one. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to be involved. <laughs> One time, uh-huh. when I was young. If this is a fucking song, when I was a young boy, my father took me to the city. <laughs> well, mama told me <laughs> when I was young. Uh, no, I, I took a bead, like an arts and crafts bead, uh-huh. and I put it in my ear uh-huh. as if I were a secret agent. <laughs> And I had to get it because removed medically. Because secret agents medically. often have beads in their ears. Right. It was my it was my imaginary earpiece. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Can you read me? <laughs> Hello. Uh, you had to and get surgically removed. Uh, not surgically removed, but they like, definitely had to take some some big old medical tweezers. Yeah. To yank that shit out of my ear. Medical tweezers. Those are different from regular tweezers. No. Yeah. Because they cost big. a lot more. Yeah, <laughs> and because they're way big and scary. <laughs> They called them alligator clamps. Yeah. As if a boy of age like eight needed same thing. to hear that. No, but they were they were they were big. Okay. They looked like big tweezers. Yeah, gotcha. You don't want to get the clamps. Mm. Yeah, the clamps. Alligator clamps is what like the dentist uses to hold that little napkin over your mm. thing. Like, or like uh to clip you uh like to bed sheet you. I don't know if you guys ever had emergency surgery as a child, but mm. Uh, nope. An old tactic back in the 1400s when I was a kid 
<laughs> was called bed shooting, uh-huh. where instead of holding you down, they would basically put a sheet over you and then st- strap that sheet down to the side of the bed so tight and use clamps. Oh, so it sounds that, so comfortable. So that you could not move right. to f- fight back during surgery or wind up hurting yourself or, or others. Or others. Yeah. Sounds fun. While it's going on. Right? We can do that too if you want. It's kind of scary when you're little. I can imagine. I, yeah, probably. When you're when you're big, it's probably just ridiculous. <laughs> probably just makes you feel real stupid. <laughs> I'm like a burrito. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. yeah. Like a sandwich. Yeah, I uh, I cracked my ear on a coffee table. Woo! And they had to sew my ear back together. What a dark secret. That's not really a dark secret. I think he was talking about when he got clamped. Yeah. That That wasn't his dark secret? No. No, Jason, what's your dark secret? I want your dark secret. Um, One of them. All right. Well, you can't have those. Those are too dark. Um, (laughs) I've got one that's just kind of shady. Uh, one time I really liked this girl and she didn't have the same feelings for me, but she decided she had feelings for about three of my friends. <laughs> um, it, it, in that order, you know, like date you for a little while. Okay. No date you for a little while. And the whole right. time I'm like pledging my undying love and stuff. This is way back before I realized how to play the game. Uh huh. Uh, and you're not supposed to do stupid stuff like that, like nope. pledge your undying yeah, yeah, yeah. love for somebody. This was leading into your cynical phase. Right. This yeah. was getting th- very close <laughs> to there. It's uh, a good place to be. <laughs> so basically, I felt very jaded by this young lady. Right. And I uh, created a curse ritual where I basically tried to you know, wish harm upon her. Dang. And the very next day... She totaled her automobile, and her and her sister and her best friend all went to the hospital for like two weeks. Oh, wow. And I don't think I'm responsible, (laughs) but I felt real, real bad. (laughs) Real bad. And I bought her a teddy bear, and I don't think we ever spoke again (laughs) after that. Jason, I um, hate to be the bearer of bad news, but... The uh, bearer of bad news. You cursed that girl. <laughs> you yeah. cursed her. Are you sure, though? I mean, are I, you I not? Did I did curse her? But was it an effective curse, or is she just a shitty driver? <laughs> it, the world will never know. The it's it's, will, it's impossible know. to disprove a negative. So there's something uh, dark about me. A dark secret. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I used Dave. to use uh, black magic on people, and I don't anymore because it's bad. So they tell you. It's wrong. Don't do it. Don't do it, kids. What about you, Dave? White white Uh, magic only. Use the hoodoo. And before you say anything, if you tell me that that's a wig, I'll be crushed. (sighs) Nah. I'm going to do that one day, though. Definitely doing that. (laughs) Um, Just reveal it to the world now. Did I ever tell you about the time I... I, uh, I shot my dad in the face with a with a with a water gun, like a water cannon. No. Yeah. So, years and years ago, is this gonna be dark. Yeah. <laughs> not really. I bet it took place in the sun. I feel like I said this though. No, it was my my dad used to wake me up for church on Sunday mornings, right? And one time I wouldn't wake up, and so he like dumped water on my face, and that angered me. So the next day was his day off. He got to sleep in, and I was I would. I would ride to school with my mom, who who was a teacher at one school on the way to mine. So I would ride to school with her, drop her off, and then take her car to my school and then pick her up in the afternoon. So I was like, hey, I, like we were walking to the car. I was like, oh, I forgot my wallet. And I run, you know, run back upstairs. I pull out this giant Super Soaker 2000 from the closet that I'd filled up the night before, <laughs> kicked in my parents' door, and shot my dad in the face with like all gallon of water of... Uh, from this thing. You have told me and this. I was like, time to wake up. I feel like I have heard this. I may have yeah. said it on the show. I don't know. I think you might have said it on the show. Change it. Uh, I shot my dad in the face with a twenty two. All right. Yeah, All that would right. be much darker, I think. That's yep. a lot darker. Does he still yeah. have a nose? I mean, it's not He lived he lived through it though. <laughs> Good. And he forgave you. Yeah, of course. Yep. So that's yeah. that's really what this is about. 
It's about loving your family and forgiveness. Right. Yep. After shooting them in the face. After you shoot them blank <laughs> in the head with a gun. <laughs> I didn't do that. He says. I change it. Say. Yeah, change, <laughs> it. change it to I certainly did not <laughs> I totally did that. <laughs> uh, dark. Dark. Darkness. There is. I mean, I could. I could tell you the dark story of the 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 skit that I wanted to about Steve Irwin. That's pretty dark. That's pretty dark. It's pretty dark, maybe. But since we might actually do that, I don't want to. No, yeah, leave it. I don't want to give it away. Leave it alone. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, um, do I have any like really dark secrets? I don't know. Um. Oh. I did a kind of vengeance thing on a girl once. Uh, it was stupid. Like, it was this petty bullshit. But, like, this girl broke up with me. So, I was dating this girl, and she was kind of a pothead. And I was like, you know, I've... You guys know I'm not really much for that. Uh, but I told her, like, I can't tell you what to do. I would just appreciate it if you wouldn't smoke around me. And for a while, that was fine. And then... um she uh, she started, like, instead of hanging out with me, she'd go hang out with her friends and, and get stoned with them. And that irritated me, but I was, like, trying to make it work. And uh, Christmas came along. I was going to visit my family for Christmas down down south. And uh, I called her, like, hey, you want to you hang out tonight? I'm, you know, I'm leaving tomorrow. She's like, man, I'm going to this party with my friends, but you can come hang out with me, like, while I get ready. It's like for like twenty minutes while you put on some makeup. She's like, "Well, do you want to see me or not?" I'm like, Jesus, okay. And so that's exactly what I did. Went over there. We hung out for like twenty minutes. She got you know did her hair and makeup, and then we you know had our goodbye kiss, and then she went to her party. The next day, I went down south to visit my parents. On the way back, uh, a few days later, I call her up like, "Hey, come back to town. You want to do something?" She's like, "Yeah, actually, we need to talk." It's a five-hour drive. <laughs> Hmm. From from uh, Waycross, where I grew up, up to Gwinnett County, where I was living at the time, where I just had had five hours to scream at my steering wheel and everybody on the road. So, uh, yeah, she broke up with me oh. in order because she'd rather get high than be with me. Apparently, um, at the time, anyway. Well, there was um, there was probably another guy that was a smoker that she had probably had an interest in. She, as far as I know, didn't actually date anybody else for an, for another like six months. Um, we worked together, so like I knew a lot of her social. I was tracking stuff. her, <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> so I got a friend of mine to pose as the new girl that I was dating. We went to the restaurant we were working at and like tried to make her jealous that way. I guess like I said, it was really some petty bullshit. Mm. Um. A Year, couple years later, I was actually living with that that girl that I faked it with, and and her fiance and then husband, and uh, me and my ex actually ended up hooking up where she met that girl again, and never realized it was the same one I'd been on a date with. So that dirty laundry. Um, I've, yeah. I would love to meet a girl like a like that, like an Aubrey Audrey Plaza. Aubrey Plaza. Aubrey Plaza. Yeah. Aubrey Plaza you know, in the uh, Parks and Recreation. Mm -hmm. Big fan. Big, like, big, big fan. Her role in that show was was sort of like she was smart, but she was like dark and sort of like yeah. flights of fancy and stuff. And and her and uh, uh, Pratt, Chris Pratt, yeah. You know, they had that relationship where they would always like. Just have ridiculous fun role play sessions, yeah, yeah. and involve like other people, <laughs> random strangers, right. and their friends, and whatever in yeah. their shenanigans. I would love to have somebody like Absolutely. that that I could just go into a restaurant and be like, "Hey, you want to just mess with people today?" And be like, <laughs> "Sure." Like British royalty. Like, what do you want to do? <laughs> like, you name the tune and we'll dance. Well, let's yeah. do it. And then, yeah, I like that. Ah, oh, just somebody to just play with yeah. the I, world in that capacity. I did something similar to that at the same restaurant, actually, where uh, I I was a, I was a server or something, and I had asked out this hostess, and we were we were eating at the restaurant, and uh, one of the girls that worked there, who apparently had a crush on me, it turns out, saw us eating and got. She was like, "Oh my god, are you guys like together?" 
And we convinced her that we had just gotten engaged. We were celebrating. It was it was on Valentine's Day. We were celebrating our engagement. And then the girl I was with was like, you know, my mom actually lives in Vegas. We could fly out tonight and get married on Valentine's Day. And this other girl is just losing her mind because we were playing it off so well. Uh, we did not get married. Entertainment. Did you, did you wind up hooking up with the other girl? I didn't hook up with either of them, actually. <laughs> Well, who's yeah, it, the real loser? <laughs> Good me. for yeah. you, Dave. Everybody, everybody lost in that yeah, situation. It seems like no one won in your story <laughs> just yep, now. It was just terrible for everyone. Yeah, it was an un-American ending. <laughs> yep. Dark. Yeah. Dark. I don't know if that was dark, but yeah, sad. Yeah. Speaking of dark, uh, I think maybe Justin tells me that Black Mirror is coming out with another season. Is it? I need to catch. I've seen the first season. Was it Justin that told me that? I don't know if it was Justin that told you that. Okay, maybe because that might be news to me. <laughs> someone, someone mentioned that Black Mirror was coming out with another season, and really I was cool. really looking forward to it because apparently it's going to stay British, which means it'll probably stay good. <laughs> was there an option for it not to be? Yeah. I mean, there's always an option for yeah. America to pick it up and mushroom. They, they've had stamp some American. It guests on it though right haven't they oh yeah okay yeah but yeah i i've seen the first season i really enjoyed it i need to keep watching netflix has it weird though where it like the way it's set up on netflix it starts yeah. with like season three and so you have to like scroll around and, like the episodes, find the episodes are backwards like, yeah they're all set up yeah, weird it starts with like the most current season yeah and which doesn't it doesn't normally do that with netflix i don't know why it's like that but yeah good show though yeah. Weird show. David, why does the internet suck today? Mm. David. It's your location, location, location. Yeah. You say it three times, it makes it important. Important. Or Beetlejuice shows up. Oh. Yeah. Don't, don't do that. What if I do it? Oh, you or know Candyman. what? Speaking of Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice? I watched... Oh, shit. I watched a thing on Netflix. About Beetlejuice? Uh, well, it had um, uh, that Michael Keaton fella. Right. I like Michael Keaton. Yeah, good actor. And it's called The Founder, I think. And okay, it's yeah, yeah. about the beginnings of McDonald's. Did somebody right. say McDonald's? And no. Ray Kroc is the name of the, uh, the founder of McDonald's. And I actually knew that before watching this because they post his name inside McDonald's. Really? Uh, with a little plaque, and it says "Our Founder." I get bored in line real easy, so I'll read every posted. What the object. hell are you going? One, why are you going to McDonald's? Two, why are you going inside McDonald's? All right, one, because that's I'm the cat's real old, now, bro. And so is McDonald's, and two, that does make it good. It used to not be as bad. Yeah, but now it is. And so that, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm not talking about yesterday. I went there and discovered this Ray Kroc fellow. So last week. No, like at least two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, it was still bad. Yeah. It was, uh, no, it was, I don't know, it was probably like 12, 13, the first time I saw Ray Kroc. And the reason that I remember the guy's name was because Ray Kroc ain't Ray McDonald. <laughs> or Ronald McDonald. Or, or Ronald or anything. His name is Ray Kroc. Yeah. But apparently the founder is a based on a true story of Ray Kroc and how he was... A, a restaurant salesman. Dick. He he was a kind of a dick. Yeah, he was a, a salesman mm-hmm. who had issues making sales, um, making a name for himself. He came across. Hey, yeah, that's rude. AF. Ain't it? Phones off of the talkie box. He came Jeez, across McDonald's down. in like Southern California. I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was two guys, brothers named McDonald's. Um. McDon- Spe- like plural McDonald's? Yeah, like uh, Dick McDonald and like Jim okay, McDonald. Okay, so it was, or... it wasn't McDonald's. It was McDonald. Yeah, Mr. McDonald. McDonald, other Mr. McDonald. possessive. Gotcha. Well, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so basically, well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so basically, he goes to this to this place uh-huh. after you know servicing restaurants and selling different equipment to restaurants for a good portion of his career. Mm. And they have reinvented uh, making and selling hamburgers and french fries. They have patented a system Mm -hmm. which they call the speedy system, which is all about the placement of the items in the kitchen and like basically ergonomics within the kitchen as far as like moving items from station to station and 
placing all of the appropriate stations near each other. Like, you know, you go from grill to the sandwich board so that people yeah. can be prepping the buns while the meat is cooking. And then like, they, they patented this. Yeah, they basically created a a kitchen design right. specifically for expediting their So if I were to menu. happen to make a restaurant and having never even heard of this, like basically set up the exact same system because it just works, they would come and sue me? Yep. You get for uh, well, I think back then, uh, you know, they may not have even had... You know, they make, made deals on handshakes and stuff back then, and that's how people got ripped off. Because <laughs> they would believe the handshake deal, and then they'd be like, well, there's no contract. But And that actually no happened purchase. to the McDonald's guys, because oh. all of their royalties for mm -hmm. McDonald's was based on a handshake deal that could never be proven in court later. And oh, so wow. the guys who created the restaurant and had their name attached to the restaurant got shut out got shut out oh, by damn. Ray Kroc who went to them sold them the franchise idea basically floundered for a while until another guy who was a lot smarter than him <laughs> came on board told him you don't need to mess with franchise you need to mess with real estate buy the land mm. that the McDonald's are being built on and then lease the McDonald's the land so and then you can control the interest of all the properties on that land huh. and so he basically went in and bought the land out from under all of these mcdonald's starting yeah. buying land for every franchisee from that point on and forcing them to lease the land from him so mcdonald's corporation was developed off of being the like number one real estate holder in America for a good portion wow. of time where they basically just bought up plots of land and then owned all those plots of land and only McDonald's could be there. Huh. Smart. It was it was smart. That guy that came in and told Ray Kroc how to make money right. was a really smart guy. Uh it he, was he unfortunate. He probably should have done that himself. <laughs> he probably should have. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but uh and it also shows like some of his personal life, like how he was kind of a douche. He had a little bit of an unsupportive wife who eventually started to come around, and then he divorced her <laughs> so that he could marry one of his franchisee's wives. Oh. Who he got her to divorce yeah. her husband so that he it sounds could... like a guy who gets what he wants. Apparently, uh, no matter Success. what the cost. Yeah. No matter what the cost. So I they wonder... kind of painted him as like an American icon but also kind of like a dick he, kind of a prick yeah he's definitely got his failings i do wonder how close it is to the actual truth though because a lot of these biography type movies they, they dramatize they, they dramatize the hell out of it yeah um and they and they play up a lot of different aspects but what was the there's that movie with the uh, banner snatch cummerbund that uh <laughs> He's like a code breaker or something for World War II, I think. Oh, uh, about the autistic uh, guy. The imitation the, game. Yeah. The imitation game. Yeah, and and in the the, the character is gay, and or the the man he was portraying is gay. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they they play it up in the movie a lot more than it, anybody really gave a shit when it was going on. From what I understand. It doesn't surprise me. And and it's just like they made it like, like oh drama. this gay guy, and and in reality they were like this guy. Oh, well, he's gay? In the, in the imitation Lit. game, they don't really address it until about halfway through the movie. Like, I didn't see the movie. You, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of world are we living in? Oh my God, what kind of world, world are we living in? Uh, so anyway, it's a good movie. Yeah. And, uh, and they don't really even address him being gay. They just, you know, he's, he's neat, and you can tell that he's very particular inside his own head and that he doesn't have a lot of externalized desires at all through the movie and so you kind of just get an awkward sense about yeah. him and then eventually it is revealed that he's gay and and it becomes sort of a dramatic hindrance for mm -hmm. the movie it may not have been such a dramatic hindrance in real life because yeah. he was breaking a code uh so that we could win the war Right, and you know, if you're they doing that, you could probably eat babies, and they'll <laughs> still be like, as long as it's just once a month, <laughs> it's okay. You get one eat a, a baby month. Should have paid. <laughs> yeah, you get oh, one a month. I did not know that. As long as you're, I knew the about. War. I knew about you know one uh, one shit your pants a month. I did not realize you could eat one baby a month if you were cracking a code. 
for the war. For yeah. the war. Yeah. Oh, okay. You have to be winning the war, whatever the war may be. Right. right. As long as you are on the side that is currently winning and you are the reason. That they're mm-hmm. winning. That you they're get winning. to eat one baby a you month. You get a, yep. a free baby a month pass. Now, is it like a forced baby? Like you have to eat one baby a month or is it optional? I like would, shitting I your think pants? It's optional. Totally yeah. optional. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I mean they're but vegans. it's not it's not singular rollover. Yeah, who's who picks the baby? I mean you do. Oh, as or the hero does. Whoever the hero, yeah. hero. <laughs> you wouldn't have been me. You're not like okay, this baby. You're like, not no, that you baby. won't even take the world's hate on your shoulders. Nope, <laughs> I'm a real selfish prick. Yep, you're like the world can just keep on hating because I don't want to get pied in the face or also possibly assassinated. Yeah, in I the do head. not want to get just, assassinated. Or just in the tied head. down and shit on. <laughs> just tied down and shit on human centipede style. Yeah. Oh. Eat it. Oh, it's yeah. I wish you hadn't done it. I'm so. I'm sorry. You're no, terrible, I'm sorry. and you're not sorry. I don't have a good filter. That's one of those things that, like, I I still don't understand how a movie like that got made. Like, why? Not only how it got made, but like, why did people want to see that? Like, that's so awful. Yeah. I mean, and somebody like, can somebody thought about it. Mm-hmm. Somebody like. Somebody wrote pitched a it to a studio. Yeah, somebody wrote a script. Somebody pitched it. Somebody bought it. Yeah. Somebody made it. Like a bunch of there were lighting guys were on there. There was a guy yeah. holding a that, boom mic. That, that, that's all you That movie Union paid works, people's bills. Yeah, that was a bill payer. And people went and paid money to see that in theaters. Mm. Yikes! With with other people around, right? Like, and not just. To I'd look like to around. see the mo- this this awful and like you know people in the box office like. Really? All right. Here's your fucking. See, I'd like to go to that movie just to sit with my back to the movie and stare at all the people (laughs) that are watching it. (laughs) What kind of people are you? you? You're all bad people. Yeah. uh, Hey, judging (laughs) this guy right here. I'm judging all of y'all. I paid just as much as you guys did to be here, but I don't have to watch it. Yeah, I'm not watching it. I'm watching y'all. You guys are what I want to see here. Because I don't ever want to see you outside Mm. of here. And I'll tell you this. If I don't Terrifying. see every, like anybody I see not covering their eyes at certain points. Mm-hmm. That guy people. up there, he's got 3D goggles on. It's mm. not even a 3D movie. He brought movie. a camera. He wanted, he wanted to record this. <laughs> top I'm yeah. taking this home. He's, he's putting this on torrents later. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. There are some movies that I don't understand how <laughs> gruesome and disgusting they can yeah. be. Like, I, mean, I, I saw, get it, but it's like... I saw huh? Hostel under false pretenses. Oh. Really? Like, I oh, didn't realize was it was a torture porn movie. I thought it was just kind of like a thriller kind of movie. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize I was going to see some gross-ass shit. It disturbed me. Yeah. Yep. Uh, like a neurological... Like, I actually felt ill. And I've never watched a movie that, like, disturbed me to a physical right. level before. It was very... Like, the, the one scene that... You know, there are certain actions when Is you see the you hamstring. Just, that was what that got was bad. me. Yeah, yeah. That and that's the, the one that did eye. it. it I, was, I don't know if I made it to the eye. <laughs> I got good. to the hamstring. It was like I. Mm. I f- yeah, I gotta stop watching this. I gotta. And, then, <laughs> and then, it's then they amazing. made a second one, which I did not watch. It's amazing how certain like uh, staged acts of brutality seem to affect us more than others, mm-hmm. and w- sometimes ones that maybe. You would think, wouldn't it affect you as much as some of the more gruesome things we see do? And like the Achilles tendon is a is a great example. Like we see people get stabbed in the gut in a fake way on movies, and you're like, oh, or decapitated, it, fully yeah. decapitated, head cut off. It's like, oh, ooh, damn. But then we watch somebody get their Achilles tendon clipped, and you're like, oh, yeah, my oh, stomach's being God. weird right now because of oh. thing I'm thinking about. It. Yeah, like it just it it, oh, it's so terrible. It's like watching them kill a dog on a movie. It's like, what's your problem? We'll watch you kill people. You yeah. kill a dog. Suddenly we got problems, Bucky. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Saving yeah. Private Ryan. Yep. You seen it? Yes. You seen it? Yep. Good for you. Yeah. Good for the both of you. Yep. If you haven't seen it, what, what kind of world do we live in? Have you seen Pulp Fiction? Absolutely. Yeah, you? Yeah, I've seen Pulp Fiction. All right, yeah. Reservoir yeah. Dogs? Yep. Reservoir Dogs, mm-hmm. yeah. Four Rooms? Yep. Four Rooms, yeah, I've seen it. Memento? Yep. 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 All right. Maybe the Sixth Sense? Yep. yep. All right, That's all right. Crazy. All I was right. actually going six cents after Memento oh, yeah. earlier when I was compiling this list. Yeah, I was, I was. I picked the one right out of your brain. You I did. saw it and I picked it out. Or you put it there. <clears throat> one of the two. The world may never know. Uh huh. Now who's using black magic? The world right. may never know. All well, right. the clock on the wall says uh, the same thing it said last week, but also that we're uh, we're out of time. Oh. Batteries. And this week, 
I learned that Jason cursed a girl in a wreck in her car. It's mm. crazy. Possibly killing, you know, everybody there. I didn't. I didn't. Remind I me did, to did, always did, remind did Jason. Die or, you, no. or they could have. They definitely didn't die. Okay. Remind me to always remind Jason when we're still having a show without him. I don't want no curse on me. Oh, yeah. He's up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Jason's apparently upset we didn't tell him we were going to do the show last week, even though he wasn't here. Mm -mm. I didn't Although find out till I was like, we've done it before. Like we did it without you once. Yeah, yeah, but I told him that day, like, oh, you can't make it. All right, well, Dave and I are going to go ahead and do the show anyway. Is oh. you know, I hope that's cool. If it's not, you know, I get <laughs> too bad. Tough, tough shit. But still, so yeah, in the same vein, too bad. <laughs> well, that's fine. I would have taken it too bad, but just like a, not even consideration to be I guess like, I assumed that Justin, because y'all usually ride together, so I think I just assumed that he, he'd let no, you know. But, I didn't find no. out until I got the mass text yesterday or whatever, and, and I was like, <laughs> who is this guy? Did he did he accidentally mistype a word? And you're like, uh, that's the guy that we like better than you? Yeah. And I was like, oh, that guy. I knew it was going to happen, but I wasn't prepared. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a band-aid, though. Like, yeah. Real quick. Better to just jerk it off. You're ready. You're right. <laughs> I'm ready? You're ready and you're right. Well, you're ready and you're, you're right, right to jerk it ready. off. What would you learn? What did I learn? Yeah. That, um, that, that, that McDonald's was created by a big old dick. <laughs> big old dick named Ray Kroc. Yeah. Yep. What did you learn? I learned that you shot your father in the face with a twenty two <laughs> handgun. That's not what happened. I did not say handgun, either. <laughs> no, I added that detail. Uh, yep. A little embellishment for fun. Right. Yeah. And that's not okay, Dave. It, it would not be okay if that is what had happened. You tell him you're sorry. The next time I see him. Next time you see him. He's over in California right kiss now. Kiss him right on his bullet hole. <laughs> Mwah, I'm sorry, yeah. Dad. On that, have a great night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night.